हेलो गाइस सो नाउ वी शेल बी डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग द नर्व सप्लाई ऑफ द स्टमक ओके सो टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी रिगार्डिंग द ब्रांचेस और द नर्व्स दैट आर इनर्वेटिंग द स्टमक ओके सो अ टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन वुड बी रिगार्डिंग द नर्व सप्लाई टू द स्टमक so what are the nerves that are supplying to the different parts of the stomach we discussed there are different parts right we have discussed that we even have got pyloric part right fundus and all body so all to all these parts what are the nerve supply we shall discuss now now first of all let me draw a picture over here if you look at this this is the stomach and this is the stomach over here and here exactly you have got two types of branches one is called as anterior vagal trunk and on the back of this you have got posterior vagal trunk so this is an anterior picture so the vagal trunk which i'm drawing right now is called as anterior vagal trunk okay what is this this is called anterior vagal trunk now this anterior vagal trunk mainly gives you three branches what are these three branches the first branch which gives like this it is called as a hepatic branch okay so what is this branch here this branch is called as hepatic branch now all the way from this hepatic branch you have got another branch that is supplying to the pyloric part of the stomach and that is where this branch is called as pyloric branch okay so what are the two branches let us write it down so this is called as anterior vagal trunk anterior vagal trunk and the first branch which we have here is the hepatic branch this is called as a hepatic branch hepatic branch has given a small branch which is coming to the pyloric part and this is called as a pyloric branch what is this called as this is called as a pyloric branch now from this anterior vagal trunk you have got another branch like this and this branch is straight away going into a ganglion here right so what is this ganglion guys this ganglion is called as celiac ganglion as you have got celiac trunk all of you know right in the same way the ganglion which we have here is called as celiac ganglion okay and this branch which is entering into the celiac ganglion is called as celiac branch okay so this is a celiac branch this is a celiac branch that is entering into this particular ganglion and that is called as celiac ganglion celiac ganglion and next important thing is that we have got another branch that is coming all the way down like this and this branch over here which is supplying to most part of the stomach in this way okay it supplies to the most part of the stomach most of the regions of the stomach and this branch over here is called as a gastric branch or nerve of latarget okay so this branch over here is called as gastric branch gastric branch or you can call this as nerve of latarget nerve of latarget so these are the branches here which we can see on the anterior side now once again guys so on the anterior side what are the branches different branches you have got the first main trunk we have to discuss the main trunk is called as anterior vagal trunk okay this anterior vagal trunk this anterior vagal trunk gives out some branches first important thing it gives out a hepatic branch okay it gives out a celiac branch here now after hepatic and celiac is given it will also give out a gastric branch okay and this hepatic branch will give out a small branch called as pyloric branch gives out a small branch called as pyloric branch and where does celiac branch enter celiac branch enters into your celiac ganglion so this is the nerve supply from anterior vagal trunk on the anterior aspect okay so what is this weave this is an anterior weave anterior weave so the same nerve supply on the back that is a posterior aspect what is a nerve supply on the posterior aspect we shall look into that okay right so let me draw the stomach in the same way now coming to the branches on the posterior side now posterior side i'll be drawing with the dotted lines okay 
so here on the posterior side here you have got a branch anteriorly we have got anterior vagal trunk then posteriorly you should call it as posterior vagal trunk right now this branch over here is called as posterior vagal trunk now this posterior vagal trunk gives out a branch like this and this branch all of you know again this branch is entering into the same celiac ganglion where the celiac branch entered there right and what is this branch again it is also a celiac branch but this is a branch that is given on the posterior side that was a celiac branch which was given on the anterior side and this is a celiac branch which is given on the posterior side and next and next there are no more branches here so it will give one last branch all over the place like this right so these branches they supply in this way in this way and this is called as what previously what do you call these branches do you call these branches gastric branch or nerve of latargid yes now also you have to call the same it is called as a gastric branch of nerve of latargid see this is called as a gastric branch or you can call it as nerve of latargid okay you can call it as a gastric branch or the nerve of latargid clear right and what is this branch over here this branch is called as a celiac branch okay what is this called as this is called as the celiac branch and this ganglion over here is called as the celiac ganglion celiac branch and this ganglion over here is called as the celiac ganglion and next important thing you have to know is that one additional and special branch that is coming out like this right there is one special branch that comes out in this way on the posterior side itself and this branch you call it as nerve of grassy what is this called as this is called as nerve of grassy nerve of grassy okay right by the way what is the name of this main trunk called as main trunk is called as anterior vagal trunk or posterior vagal trunk it is called as posterior vagal trunk posterior vagal trunk so what have we discussed we discussed that the we have got anterior vagal trunk right anterior vagal trunk we have got how many branches three branches one is called as a hepatic branch another one is called as a celiac branch which is entering into celiac ganglion and third one is called as a gastric branch which is also called as nerve of latarget next celiac this hepatic branch gives out another branch called as pyloric branch this is on the anterior side now let us go into the posterior side posterior side also we have got the main branch that is called as posterior vagal trunk and this posterior vagal trunk is having few branches for example it gives us its first branch called as celiac branch and after that it gives out yeah celiac branch is entering into what it is entering into your celiac ganglion next it gives gastric branch which is also called as nerve of latarget and the new branch which you have to learn now that is called as the nerve of grassy okay nerve of grassy so these are the branches of the anterior vagal trunk and the posterior vagal trunk which you see guys so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye